Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I have a few things to uh, to speak concerning the economy of this country. And uh, I want to remind you what the Lord has been speaking to us to play uh, for you some clips. What the Lord has been speaking for many, many days ago. Unajua sipendi watu wakisahau mambo ambayo Mungu amesema itatufanya tuumie tubure. Bwana asifiwe. Hakuna mtu kwa hili kanisa anafaa kumliria Mungu au kulalamika kwa sababu ya hali ya kiuchumi ya taifa la Kenya. Kwa sababu gani? Tumetembea katika unabii na Bwana amesema pamoja nasi Biblia haiwezi kabadilika inapaki kuwa ile ile kama kweli Kenya ni taifa teule limechaguliwa na Mungu hata kwa ajili ya ufufio mwelekeo wake na mwelekezi wake atapaki kuwa Jehova ni kweli atapaki kuwa Mungu na ina maana kwamba kama taifa hili limechaguliwa na Mungu na watu wote wanaamini kwa ajili ya revival ya dunia nzima ina maana kwamba kila chochote kitakachotokea hapa akita tupata ghafla akita kuwa ajali itakuwa ni kama tulisahau au tulipuuza lakini ukweli wa mambo ni kwamba Mungu amekuwa akizungumza kuhusiana na taifa la Kenya na hata hali yetu ya kiujumi na aswa kwa wakristo wanaomupenda Mungu God has always spoken to us Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Mimi nilimsikiliza Mheshimiwa Rais siku nyingine akisema siku nyingine alikuwa anasema kwamba mtungi wa gas utatoka wa kilo sita utatoka 2500 au 2800 na utafika shilingi 500 au 300. Sasa mimi nikachanganyikiwa maana Mungu aliniambia mwezi wa Februari kwamba bei ya bidhaa itaongeza. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na iko hapo kwenye YouTube. Nitawaruhusu tu kama simu yako iko hapo. Iko hapo nitawaweke, nitawachezea. Lakini muende kwenye YouTube. Niliongea maneno hayo miezi saba iliyopita ilikuwa tarehe nane mwezi wa Februari 2023. Wakati Mungu alisema bei ya bidhaa itaongeza. Kwa hiyo nikisikia bei ya mafuta imeongeza. Kwangu sistuki. Nina gari lakini siogopi. Kwa sababu Mungu alizungumza kwamba hilo litafanyika na akasema kitakacho waokoa wanaompenda. Nyakati hizo hazina budi kutokea lazima lazima Bei itaongeza. Lazima nauli itaongeza. Lazima bei ya nguo itaongeza. Lakini Mungu akasema kipindi hicho atafanya tofauti kati ya watoto wake na wale wengine. Mlikuwa hapa Februari. Sikiliza ujumbe huo kama umeipata. Sikia, vile Bwana alisema uko hapo kwenye simu zenu na uko kwa kila mkenya ulimwengu mzima. Sikiliza vile Bwana alisema mwezi wa Februari kifungua hapo kwa simu yako utaona mahali message imeandikwa the prices of items will go higher the prices of items will go higher ilikuwa utaangalia hapo hata kwa simu yako itakuonyesha february it never says a word that never comes to pass ndio wewe uchumbe hallelujah we can start it afresh concerning the god does not change and god never says a word that never comes to pass Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Concerning the economy, don't you follow politicians. Follow what I tell you. Aya makofi ni yenu. I'm telling you the truth. Many of you will leave this country for other, other nations. That's February. I don't know whether the president will make a mistake or he will not. Kenya is a nation of God. 
and we have something to do. You people that sit under my feet, you, under this anointing, you, don't follow what they are saying. Follow what I'm telling you. I know you spend more time with them and a few hours with me. But if you follow what I'm telling you in these few hours, all the other hours, together, will work for your good. Yeah. This year, for you to be more effective in terms of finance, get into business and get into agriculture. You will not go wrong. This year again, the price of items will go higher, but not higher than where we can reach. Everyone in this, in this church that wanted to build, we will build. I say we will build. Our children will go to school. Ukisikia hayo maneno ya hawa wanasiasa na matarifa ya abari, watoto watakwama. There is the nation and there is the kingdom. I'm giving you a message of the kingdom. Wakat taifa la Israeli lilikaa bila chakula. Mfalme alikuwa na akili. Akasema mbona tunahangaika tunakosa chakula ni kama hakuna na pia. Na pia Elisha akasema kesho, sema kesho. Akasema kesho kutakuwa na chakula. Israeli sio chakula kwa ajili ya manapi. chakula cha taifa nzima. Mukono, yani uwai wa serikali uko kwa mkono wa kanisa. Na ninyi kama watu wa kanisa, yasikilizeni maneno ninayowaambia. Hallelujah. Ninyi kubali msaidie serikali. Msikubali kusaidiwa na serikali. Msikubali. Kubali kusaidia serikali. You must accept to help the nation. Kubali muisaidia serikali kwa kuenda shambani. Have insisted on this? Kwa nini niliwambia muingie kwenye biashara? Kwa sababu bei ya bidhaa inavyokwenda juu mwenye kufaidika ni mwenye biashara. Sio mwenye kununua. Bei ya chakula inavyokwenda juu mwenye kufaidika ni mkulima sio mwenye kununua ndio bwana akasema waambieni watu wako waingie shambani wengine wafungue biashara kwa njia hiyo nitatumia mbinu hiyo kuwawezesha kufaulu katika maisha yao bwana apewe sifa haleluya sasa ninyi mlioketi hapa amkubaliwi kamwe kulalamika kwa sababu ujume mliupokea miezi saba iliyopita na kufikia kwa mwezi huu maana baadaye mwezi wa tano bwana halisema nasi kasema yako mambo yatatokea miezi mitatu ijayo wakati wa mafuno makubwa wakati wa sasa mwezi huu wa tisa unafaa kwa mwezi wa furaha kwa watu wa kanisa hili maana you know that we have been talking about the month of september kama ni mwezi wa kuchifungua sasa wewe nakuuliza swali tu la kiraisi unachifungua nini na mimba hauna Niulizie naiba hapo ana mimba ya nini? Mwambie kuna siku moja nilifikiri niko na mimba. Nikaenda kupimwa nikaambiwa niko na hewa. Tena kwa mafumbo yangu lakini ninyi mlioketi hapa 
ni makosa makubwa hata kwa mbele za Mungu kwamba sisi kama wanakanisa baada ya kubewa taarifa mapema ili tuchipange tuchiandae kwamba siku inafika ya mafuno na hatuna chochote mwezi huu wa 9 kulingana na vile bwana amekuwa akisema hata kwenye anniversary yetu alisema ni mwezi wa kujifungua na najua miaka tisa, miezi tisa, tumezungumza kinabii na unabii sio story na sio taarifa unabii ni reality ya mbinguni inayozungumzwa ili matokeo yake yawe bayana duniani bwana yesu asifiwe pale nje bwana asifiwe